Hello, my name is Gideon, thank you for the comments and recommendations from the previous presentation by Eric from Geospatial Technology and the Environment team. Before this presentation please subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos. Hello, welcome back to this presentation on SWOT model. Um, on today's presentation, we'll see how to install QGIS and we'll also see how to install SWOT plus tools and I will assist you to uh, install Microsoft Passing Interface and lastly, we'll see how to activate QSWAT plugin. So, let's go ahead and download QGIS. In order to download QGIS, select one of your browser. Here in my case, I have Firefox and Google Chrome. So I click Google Chrome and it will lead me to the website. So I'll type QGIS and enter. So this will lead you to uh, QGIS website. So click that link and it will send you to QGIS website. Or you can just click the link below the description and it will lead you to this page where I am right now. So if it's your first time downloading QGIS, uh, you will scroll down and here you will see download now and support QGIS. So you go ahead and download. After clicking that, here on top you will see all releases. So these are previous release of QGIS. Here are the new versions. Uh, right now there is 3.16. So go ahead and download this one which is 64 bits and uh, in my case if you need other uh, old versions you can click here and it will direct you to other versions uh, for other users uh, for uh, Apple uh, you can download also QGIS is available so from this link you can be able to download QGIS. So let's us go ahead and download QGIS uh, for window. So I'll click here. After clicking there, there will be a pop out up here below. You can see uh, it is downloading. So this is almost 390 megabytes. So be patient with the download until it's over. So because of time, I will speed up this video a little bit. So after the download has completed, um, go ahead to the download page and I'll go quick on the download uh, folder. And here I will find the downloaded QGIS. Uh, in order to install this downloaded QGIS, just double click it. And uh, this is uh, where you will start installing. So just click yes. And here it will say welcome to QGIS. Uh, that version you have, in my case, I'll use this one 3.4. So I click next. So follow all the steps uh, of installation. I agree. Here it's where the folder will be installed. So if you want, if you want it uh, to be installed in any local disk, uh, you will just uh, specify there by browsing. So go ahead and click next. Yeah. So installation will start. So after the download is completed, uh, 
go ahead to the download page and i'll go quick on the download uh, folder and here i'll find the downloaded qgis uh, in order to install this downloaded qgis just double click it and uh, this is uh, where you will start installing so just click yes and here it will say welcome to QGIS uh, that version you have in my case I will use this one 3.4 so I click next so follow all the steps uh, of installation I agree here it's where the folder will be installed so if you want if you want it uh, to be installed in any local disk uh, you will just uh, specify there by browsing so go ahead and click next yeah so installation will start so after the installation has completed uh, just click finish and there you have already installed your QGIS okay after installing QGIS now we install Swat Plus tools. So you go to your browser. Then here you click uh, or you click the link in the description of this video or you just type Swat Plus. and here it will lead you to this website so just click it there so here it will say download SWAT plus so SWAT plus comes with a package of all the tools uh, including SWAT editor so just click swat plus this is a uh, latest release 1.23 uh, which was in first december 2019 so just click download so here it will lead you to this uh, page uh, actually if you could uh, use the link in the description uh, it could lead you where i am right now so from here uh, the installations of SWAT model requires you to install QGIS 3 so we have already installed QGIS which is 64 bits and from here it will tell you to download SWAT installer so you will download here click download and the download will start so this is about 89 uh, megabytes so be patient depending on your network uh, or your internet so after you have downloaded the uh, sort plus tools installer uh, go to the download folder of your uh, computer and you will find it here which is a zipped uh, folder so you should have uh, extraction uh, programs so just double click it and here and below you will see this application just double click that and the installation will start so here just click accept um here it's where you uh, specify where you will uh, install so in my case i want to put it in local disk d i click next yes uh here we have global weather generator data for swat plus and uh you might want to click here because this helps in 
uh, situations where you run the model and you don't you are missing whether generated data or some data of uh, weather at your location so it's a huge file almost 334 megabytes so be patient when installing after clicking this so in my case i have already this kind of data so i don't need to click there so you click install so here it will recommend as qswat plus uh which uh, recommends is that you install it for yourself or install for all users uh in this case uh you see this icon this is installation for only uh if you are the administrator but uh this is recommended so go ahead and click that and install Uh, it will take just a short time so after there you're done i uh, click finish so it sort plus editor tool which uh, i said sort plus comes with a package with uh, of uh, sort editor and q sort so here to install and there you go finished so actually now you have already installed sort plus tools okay now after you have installed swat plus tools let's go ahead to the last installation where we'll be installing microsoft mpi so just search microsoft mpi um, microsoft mpi okay there so you can also easily get this on the link uh or in the description So from here, you can download Microsoft MPI. Release this one, new release. So it will direct you to this page. Uh, this is the link that I shared in the description. So you download this. Uh, make sure you download this uh, setup. Just click there and press next so uh, the download will start so after the download has completed uh, go ahead to the uh, download and you'll find uh, Microsoft MPI click that and install So this tells me that uh, the MPI that is the same or new is already installed. That is for my case. So if you haven't installed Microsoft MPI, uh, go ahead and follow the necessary steps and install it. Now after we have installed all important tools, I mean three basic tools that are JS3, uh, SWAT plus tools and Microsoft message passing interface Let's go ahead to the last section of this presentation that will be Activating SWAT plus so in order to activate SWAT Go ahead to this folder of QJS. You can find it here After the installation there will be a folder that will be developed in a desktop or just go ahead and search qjs and you'll find it there i have a lot of versions here so the one i saw the old this one 3.43 so it's the same as this so just click there qjs desktop 3.43 and it will open uh after the qjs has opened this is the uh, main interface of QGIS. Here we are going to activate uh, SWAT plus. I mean QSWAT. So go ahead to this menu bar and you'll see plugins. Click there. 
manage and install plugin and make sure you have a uh, well connected internet so plugins will come there so just search SWAT and here you see QSWAT plus this one so just check it after you checked it you close it's done so when you check that in the uh, tool uh, label toolbar you will find something like s plus this is qsort plus which you activated so go ahead and click that so here you will have uh, the interface of qsort plus and click sort plus parameters as uh, there's a little bit of settings so make sure you use the mpi and the mpi is in the correct uh, i mean where you install the mpi the directory must match this one so after there you just save it